Hello there, my name is Gary Napper. And I'm Catherine Woolley. And we're here to talk to you about Ludendare 35. Woo! If you're a regular at this, then welcome back. If this is your first Ludum Dare, then welcome aboard. You're about to embark upon an intense creative journey with infinite possibilities. Or think of it as a really fun 48 hour or 72 hour game making challenge. The reason I wanted to make this video is uh, Catherine and I have been doing game jams for absolutely ages and she originally introduced me to them and she's been like my game jam guru for a long time. I wanted the chance to be able to share our tips and tricks and all the things we've learned together with all of you and hopefully inspire some of you along the way. I introduced Gary to game jams and I've been doing them myself since LD16. You can find our entries here and here and give them a check out. Of course, in true Lid and Diet fashion, we have to compact a lot of stuff into a very, very short amount of time. So get ready for some quick fire tips, advice and opinions. All advice given is the opinion of the two presenters and may or may not lead to you making better or worse entries for Ludum Dara game making competitions and game jams. The speakers do not accept liability for any personal injury, software disasters, nervous breakdowns, lack of sleep, or inequality caused by following this advice. I was going for the 48 hour competitions because I think they're a lot closer to a marathon or one of those big obstacle courses that put you through an incredible physical amount of challenge. But for game design, it really makes you work to your strengths and work around your weaknesses to deliver something that's a really high quality at the end of the day. I do the 48 hour game jam. However, the 72 hour one is just as good. I used to do the 72 hour a lot, doing the jam would just allow me a little bit extra time on the Monday after work to spend a bit more time on the game. So here are our top bits of information and advice put into some handy sections. Spend no time arguing over the pronunciation of Ludum Dare. You have better things to be doing. Prepare. Sleep as much as you can before Ludum Dare. You need as much rest as possible so you're ready for the event. Or, if you don't have the time to do that, sleep like normal. <laughs> Make sure to prepare your area that you're going to be working in. Get supplies. Stock up on all the things you'll need for the weekend. Set up your nest area before Lumdare. This way then you have somewhere with quick access to, to get you some sleep. And then it also means your alarm won't wake anyone else up in the house if it's close to your computer. As long as your computer's not in the bedroom! Post on the Ludumdare page. Let people know what you're up to, what tools you're using, and what you hope to achieve with your entry. Test your process, so make sure everything works as you'd expect. And remember, drink plenty of water. Make sure to update all your tools and be in a stable version that's not going to keep crashing. I use GameMaker. I use Unreal. Remember to update your calendar or book time off work for Ludum Dare. I tend to take the day before to prepare and the day after to rest. It's very common amongst game developers for us to drink lots and lots of caffeinated drinks. Whether that's tea, coffee or really, really sugary drinks. Now while this can be very useful and provide you with that big energy high, it can also lead to very dangerous crashes. You want to avoid that, so it's best to drink caffeine in smaller amounts. Or drink a drink that introduces caffeine in a very subtle way, like tea. Tea. I like to cook large amounts of food before the weekend. That way you can reheat it in batches and it saves you a lot of time. Plus you get really, really hungry when you're tired. Um, you could also plan your takeout that you're going to order ahead of time. So you don't argue over the food that you want because you're tired and hungry. Sometimes you just really want to eat. Make sure to do all your chores and weekend work before Ludendari. Ludendari, for those in the UK, of course, annoyingly starts in the early hours of the morning. Um, a great way to wake yourself up and get you motivated is to just have a shower, brush your teeth, you know, all the normal things that you do on a normal day. And you can also have the best ideas in the shower. So just think about that. Brainstorm early on. Write down as many ideas as you possibly can so that you have a wide variety of things to choose from. When you're coming up with your ideas, try to think of what everyone else might be doing. And then try and do something different or original. One thing I like to do is search for the definition of words within the theme 
to come up with something that maybe no one else has thought about. Prototype early. Get something on screen and play it. Work with restrictions. If you're worried about your animation skills, then try to design a game that doesn't require lots of animations. If you're not the best artist, then try and make a game with basic visuals. Think about audio early. Don't leave it right to the end, your game will be better as a result. If your idea doesn't work, don't panic. You've got plenty of time to rework it. Sleep regularly and for short amounts. Rest up and come back stronger. If you're stuck with a bug for more than 30 minutes, walk away. Take a shower, have something to eat, forget about it. And then when you come back to it later, hopefully you'll have a solution to the problem. And remember, drink plenty of water. Communicate with other people and also read the Ludum Diary website a lot. Find out what other people are up to. If you see someone else is doing your idea, don't panic, you've got time to rework it. What can you change or improve? Is your implementation better? How is your game different? Create a list or keep some notes on the things that your game is going to need. Turn these into tasks and goals that you have to achieve within the time you have. Use the IRC channel or create a Skype call with other friends that might be taking part. It's good to communicate with other people and find out what they're up to. Get comfortable because day two is going to be tough. Don't panic. Focus. <sighs> Breathe. And don't forget to eat. <laughs> start keeping a list of tasks and bugs and then start making a note of how long they're taking you to achieve or finish. This will really help you estimate what you have left to do. Don't forget to wash, you know, just do any kind of daily routine, it helps wake you up and then it gives you some time to think about things. It's very, very useful. Scope, can you make all of this? Be honest. What can you remove and still have a good game? What needs to stay there to keep the core of your idea? When you upload your entry, name the files something other than Ludum Dare or Game Jam. Why not call it your game's title or even your username? Make sure to test your game way before the deadline. Where are you hosting? OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive, Itch.io? Make sure it's configured and ready so you can upload before the deadline. What could possibly go wrong? Well, you could miss the 48 hour deadline, but it's okay, don't worry. You can always submit to the 72 hour Game Jam instead. And remember, drink plenty of water. It's your game, so it's your message. What do you want your game to say? And how do you want people to feel when they play your game? There have been some incredible Ludum Dari entries in the past. My personal favourite was Our God Lives Underground by Andrew Shoulders. And many other Ludum Dari entries have gone on to become full titles. Things like Titan Souls, Mapixel, or Gods Will Be Watching. Remember, Ludum Dari can be hard, but it's also fun and challenging. And at the end of the day, you'll know you've accomplished something. And even if your game isn't finished, you should still upload what you have, so that you can show everyone what you've been able to create. The community are normally very supportive and friendly. Like many things, your Ludum Dari entry will be as good as the effort that you put into it. Give it everything you have and you might come out with something very special that you're very proud of. After the jam, make sure you rest up and get plenty of sleep and then settle in for weeks of playing all the entries that everybody else has made. Thanks for listening, best of luck with your entries and we look forward to playing all the amazing games that you're going to make. Enjoy, Enjoy Ludum Dare 35! Dare? 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 Dare?